Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. As always, it is Nick here, back to your daily crypto news and analysis. And today we're going to be talking about Telcoin, aka Tel. So with that being said, I hope that you're all having a beautiful day or a beautiful night wherever you guys are out there in the world. So I put out a post and I said, one of my biggest bets this cycle is Tel. Since 2022, I've been mentioning Telcoin and how big it could be this cycle. There have been many ups and downs along the way, but the future for Telcoin is very strong. Providing bridges to crypto and DeFi through mobile phones is game changing. And yes, a lot of people overlook Telcoin simply because of the supply. And I get it, right? Supply and demand. We want to go and invest into those tokens that have 10 million supply, 15 million supply. But the problem is, is that majority of them actually don't have viable use case potential behind them. Telcoin has been absolutely building and making a ton of noise for a very long time, and it was one of the biggest winners back in 2021. And I do think that this time around as well, Telcoin has already really kind of showed how big of a player it really is within this cycle. And I do think that it is going to continue to shine this cycle. And I think that even going you know further into the future, Telcoin will be an absolute winner, especially in terms of providing that bridge to crypto and DeFi through mobile phones, which like I've said, there's billions and billions of users out there uh, that do have a mobile phone. And, you know, again, when you're talking about financial services and, you know, faster payments, cheaper payments, things like that, DeFi and crypto definitely is a big focus point for a lot of the users. But Telcoin definitely is at the forefront of this with a lot of their major um, you know, partners or even I should say one of the organizations that actually have Telcoin on the list is GSMA. And that's a big player, which we will talk about uh, later on in this video. But before we get into all of that and we dive deep in, I want to show you guys this chart that came up on my timeline from Swing Trader. And uh, this is really something that kind of aligns with my vision of Telcoin this cycle. Now, again, I'm not too sure if we go to 10 to 14 cents, but I've always looked at 10 cents as being achievable. Uh, mainly, I'm really kind of just looking at the previous all time high and then going into price discovery. We could really kind of look at where we go, um, but I'm going to take profits along the way to the all time high once we start breaking into the cent region. Um, but I am really looking at 10 to 14 cents possibly being a major area of opportunity. Um, but mainly, I'm really kind of just looking at the six and a half cent zone as being the first priority target but if we just hit the market cap from the past uh cycle so 2021 we're talking more so about like roughly four and a half cents or around that level so mainly that is the main target um and then we really kind of look at six and a half cents and then 10 to possibly even you know 14 some cents so Regardless, I do think that Telcoin is about to move in a very big way uh, once the rest of the market really kind of starts to wake up in terms of altcoins. Remember, alt season is not here yet, um, but we are getting pretty close to it. And I do think that, you know, as we really look at what's been happening right now around the space, altcoins have been brewing for the next leg up. And I do think that Telcoin is also looking very, very good here. It looks very similar to 2021 right before the next leg up. So I'm definitely watching this closely and uh, a big shout out to Swing Trader for this as well. Now, with that, Telcoin recently put out a post on March 29th, and this was the 12th Telcoin community update is live. Read all about our successful NWC 2024 showing Telcoin Network's reception at the big show, the future of remittances powered by digital cash, updates on Telcoin Association and Telcoin Tau, and much more. So with that being said, let's dive into a few things. So this is a pretty long update. I don't want to bore you guys with all of the reading here. I'm not going to read pretty much every single thing, but I will say these updates in terms of M MWC, there's a lot of great things that we actually learn at these um, events. If we go back to 2023, there was an update pushed by GSMA and it was MWC 2023. This is actually from that event. And this was the future of money digital assets. And we scroll down, we have, are you ready to embrace the future of money? Innovation is reshaping financial markets and cultivating new forms of money, crypto tokens, NFTs, and more. We will examine key issues and opportunities that are shaping industry adoption. And the three topics were here, uh, digital assets, crypto, CBDC, stable coins, industry adoption, the regulatory landscape, and then our speakers include Celo Telcom uh, or Telcoin, sorry, uh, VAM, City, and then Deloitte Digital. And these were the three main speakers here. Brian Gorman, who's the fintech vertical lead at GSMA, the CCO at uh, Telcoin, and then also the global head of Telcom and media at Celo. But mainly Telcoin is the big focus here because the GSMA 
is a big player and Telcoin is actually on their list, which I will talk a little bit more about here in a second. But let's go back to MWC 2024 and really kind of address uh, what's been happening. So in the context of MWC and the telecom space specifically, we were still very much in the idea stage. We had a functioning DeFi wallet, a powerful liquidity engine, and an incredible global community, and had connected to most global telecom money, uh, mobile money wallets for remittances. But the direct involvement of telecoms in blockchain was still limited. This year, everything felt different. Now that clear regulation exists for digital assets, telecoms are suddenly uh, way more willing to pilot real digital asset projects. This turned out to be perfect timing to release Telcoin network and digital cash. And they were no longer ideas, but something we were able to physically demo at our first ever conference booth. Actually showing live tokens moving on the Telcoin network blockchain was a powerful way to let everyone at the conference know that we have not only persevered, but are on the verge of revolutionizing how the telecom industry enables instant low cost, always on money transfers on a truly global scale. And we have telecoms that we spoke to are starting to realize that the most important factor for them when it comes to running a distributed ledger is for it to be on a blockchain that only mobile telecoms can process blocks on and earn transaction gas fees from. Processing blocks will become a network service just like switching phone calls, text messages, and data packets. Why would a telecom want to run anything on a blockchain run by third-party miners when they could run it themselves as an industry consortium? The main difference now, apart from increased regulatory clarity and less hype, is that telecoms finally understand how distributed ledger technology can work for them to expand the scope of their network offering and run the Internet of Finance as a network service. We are very excited about 2024 and what the coming months will bring. Things are converging for Telcoin as the market in general has picked up. And we are also launching a fundraise to complete our banking project, which is a big move. They want to become a crypto bank and fully capitalize on the amazing position we find ourselves in as a com uh, company, ecosystem and community. Please stay tuned and thank you all very much for your continued interest and support. And here we also have a recap of everything uh, around it. Again, as we really look at a few things, you know, they are fully focused on still being at the forefront of the uh, mobile money revolution um, all through blockchain, DLT, digital assets, digital cash, things like that. Now, there has been a large focus put on Telcoin becoming a bank. And I've actually talked a little bit more about that. Um, and I do think that it all really kind of starts with adoption, regulations, things like that. Um, but we also know in terms of the actual Telcoin app, digital cash is coming to the Telcoin app, which is a big deal. This embodies our vision for what a stablecoin should be, the digital equivalent of handing someone physical dollars or euros or whatever local fiat currency you and your loved ones use in your daily life. So they're actually preparing this. This is a huge release. And um, this will actually underpin Telcoin's next generation remittances services support multi currency payments and power on chain forex for Telcoin app users. This is a big step in the FX market as well, which is a seven and a half trillion dollar per day market. This is a very big deal. And digital cash tokens are fully backed and one to one redeemable stablecoins focused on the remittance and telecom industry use cases, which is a big deal and again it really sets telcoin up to become that uh that blockchain bank and we also have telcoin association update featuring the tau we are thrilled about the successful migration of liquidity by miners on tel x to the new marketplace network and staking contracts and eagerly anticipate the release of the application layer tel issuance followed by the inaugural telcoin association minor council election and then once this is actually fully set up then the uh, telcoin association operations team um, can adequately finance its expenses they will provide updates regarding the platform and the association through their own channels including even the telcoin tel x account but beyond that, we also have Telx successful migration, um, the Telcoin platform itself, the audit is complete and implementation is underway, and also the Telcoin network steady progress on all fronts. This kind of gives us a breakdown of the actual network itself. So the Tau team is hard at work making consistent progress in developing uh, Telcoin network. Our focus remains on enhancing the network's capabilities, ensuring it remains secure, scalable, and user-friendly. We're committed to building a platform that not only meets but exceeds the expectations of our users, telecoms, and the broader community. So some pretty big updates here even in terms of legal and org but then we get the bank project so of our uh, sorry of all our uh, long-term projects the most foundational is our banking project our years-long endeavor to become a regulated bank in the united states and the first regulated bank issuer of stablecoins in the world has reached its final approval stage 
We believe that this project's ability to create durable and trusted uh, connections between digital assets and traditional banking holds the key to making crypto truly usable for the masses. While most crypto firms quickly rushed into third-party banking and card programs, often with problematic banks, we've always felt that the longer path of building a proper native banking foundation ourselves was the most viable strategy. So this is a massive move, and I do think that this is uh, a huge update. And I really think that as we continue to see all of these major pushes, things are going to continue to move heavy around Telcoin and. Also, we got a little bit of an update in terms of Telcoin formally opens pre-series A equity financing round. So to aid our rapid growth and put us in the best position to launch the upcoming bank project, the company has opened its latest round of equity financing following a successful $10 million seed round in 2021. Telcoin is targeting a raise of $30 million for its pre-series A round. $10 million of which will be used to capitalize the bank project. So it seems as though they are fully focused on becoming that bank. And I do think that this is very, very exciting, especially around Tell um, and Telcoin itself. Now, like I said, in terms of GSMA and the future of money, it seems as though Telcoin is at the forefront of this. Remember that Telcoin was the first blockchain company to join the GSMA. And uh, this is going all the way back to 2018. And when you really look at who the GSMA is, it was formed to ease cooperation, uphold standards and support and interoperability between those using global systems for mobile technology. Today, our role has grown to include unifying the entire connectivity ecosystem, driving sustainability initiatives and fostering innovation for a better world. And when you actually look at their technology, we could see that the GSM serves more than 5 billion people providing travelers with access to mobile services wherever they go. And when we think about that, right, where does this leave Telcoin, right? Like when I really look at this, the main thing that I'm focused on is, all right, Telcoin is trying to become this digital bank, essentially, this blockchain bank. They're banking individuals through their mobile phones, essentially. They're providing um, remittances on their uh, mobile phone as well. Even if you go over here to the Telcoin website, we could scroll down. We could see Telcoin is bringing decentralized compliant fintech to every mobile phone user in the world. And this is billions of users. And even down here... We could also see in a mobile financial services 2.0, global telecoms operate blockchain as an MNO network service, powering digital cash and other decentralized financial uh, services without having to custody funds or be a bank. And this is what they do. Digital cash remittances, telecoin network, digital asset wallet, decentralized finance. This is all through a mobile phone. Like this is a big deal. And then when we go back over to the GSMA and we read the fact that they have over 5 billion people already served through their network. And we know telecoin was was one of the first blockchain companies to join this. And then we also look at over here from May 31st, 2023, how to fast track the benefits of blockchain technology and streamline roaming processes sooner all through a phone. It really kind of shows you where Telcoin really stands at the forefront of this. And this is all to evolve roaming services, payments, things like that. Even if you scroll down, right, like you could see the key four areas regarding the technology um, in terms of engagement, onboarding, going live and evaluation. But even outside of just, you know, roaming technology, it's also processing payments, speeding up settlements. And when we think about what Telcoin has to offer, they offer pretty much everything that you need in terms of payments, remittances and stuff like that through a phone. And this is something that I'm really looking at because the best way and the easiest way to really kind of close that gap between the digital world of finance with crypto and the main users, a.k.a. retail, is by providing them an application that's as easy as to access than, you know, X or YouTube or, t you know, TikTok all through their phone. So this is a game changer. And I really think that this is something very exciting. And it really kind of even goes back to this article. Uh, and this is Web3 needs to be mobile ready, a case for mass adoption. When we're talking about mass adoption, it's going to be through a phone, a device that they know how to utilize already. And the application needs to be at the forefront of this as well. 
What do I mean by that? Well, the application needs to have a UI that is very easy to use. And when we look at this image from Telcoin, I mean, this is extremely easy to use. You have the wallet, the trade, the send, and the markets down at the bottom. And then you have your profile image, just like, you know, PayPal looks or Cash App or Venmo, except now you have your digital assets on here as well. And you have a wallet that you can send and receive funds almost instantly. This is a game changer. And this is why when I look at Telcoin, it's becoming an absolute giant in the space. And they have so many big updates coming to the ecosystem. I don't see how Telcoin is not an absolute giant at the end of this cycle. And I really do think that mass adoption, Telcoin definitely has a great idea here. If they capitalize on it, then I do think that Telcoin is going to realize in mass adoption for DeFi and crypto, or at least be one of the big winners in terms of trying to achieve that as well. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, definitely leave a like, subscribe to notifications on if you guys have more free content. If you guys are more than welcome to follow me on Twitter and join the free Discord in the description below. And with that being said, guys, it's been Nick. Thanks for watching. Peace out.